What's up guys, this is Mert Music, and today we're gonna be unlocking Atomic Camo in COD Vanguard. I'll just take a sec. There we go, got it. <laughs> make sure to- Make sure to drop a like for more Vanguard content. Alright, I'm gonna end it up. Yeah, I think it's safe to say Call of Duty Vanguard might be a little broken. I should have probably started this video by saying, What's up guys, this is Mert Music, and welcome to the Atomic Camo glitch in Call of Duty Vanguard. If you guys are excited to see how to do this glitch, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Massive thanks for all of the insane support on the quad feed with every gun in Call of Duty Vanguard video. But yeah, let's jump into this Atomic Camo glitch on Vanguard. Right now I'm playing Vanguard on PC, I'm pretty sure this glitch can be done on all platforms. And I do want to start this off by saying I'm doing this glitch for educational purposes, so that way you guys can learn how to do it, but also so that way Sledgehammer Games can learn how to fix it. The goal diamond and atomic mastery camos are some of the hardest camos to get in the game and you shouldn't be able to just unlock it this quickly this whole cheese way of unlocking atomic camo instantly is just kind of like a ui glitch and i don't think this is really a glitch that people should get banned over i think sledgehammer should just patch it and fix it and then we can move on but yeah let's go to a different weapon here so i can show you guys how you actually do this method we have the panzer faust here you all you have to do is go on down to camouflages but in order to do this glitch you're going to have to have a mouse and keyboard and a controller at least i'm pretty sure right now i've got an xbox controller hooked up and you have to click left on the d-pad and a at the same time while also moving your mouse in a circular motion like a circular direction so the easiest way to get this done is that you start by doing the mouse motion first and then you tap both buttons i don't know why it's not working now but there we go got it yeah that is literally all you have to do to get atomic camo unlocked right now <laughs> we'll go to the combat shield too this is probably like the easiest weapon to see all this on just do the little circle motion and then tap and then there you go you got it when i was first trying to do this glitch i was definitely struggling it wasn't as easy to actually like click the buttons and stuff but it's actually not that hard so yeah for the time being that's all you have to do to unlock atomic camo i mean you don't really unlock it you kind of just equip it this doesn't skip any of your camo challenges which again is why i don't think anyone should get banned it's not like this is some kind of weird exploit that does all of your camo challenges for you gives you tons of XP. It's just a weird little UI glitch that lets you skip past all of it and just put the camo right on. I fully and wholeheartedly expect Sledgehammer Games to patch this glitch so that way you can't do it anymore and it, they'll probably reset your camos on your guns as well so that way, you know, everyone who did this will lose it. But yeah, real quick, I'll throw us into a private match so that way we can check out the camo. You can actually see it in first person. I think I might actually have to do the glitch again. Hold up. Alright, so here we go. There it is, Atomic Camo. What kind of sucks about this glitch existing is that I showed off Atomic Camo on every single gun but technically now you could put it on every single gun and do an actual showcase in first person and you'd be able to see all of the camos i don't know if i necessarily want to go through the trouble of all of that and by the time this video goes up it could be patched but if you guys would like to see a video like that make sure to leave a comment letting me know now let's shoot it a little bit let's get a reload going it's actually a pretty nice camo, man. Since all of the quad feeds for quad feed with every gun are done, I might actually start grinding for atomic camo. But I am considering doing quad feed with every gun for Battlefield 2042, so we'll just have to wait and see. I think for the time being, I'm just gonna keep grinding out DOS house and try to get the bayonet unlocked for the SCG. Apparently that thing is just total cheese. I was goofing around with it in private match with Karina, and it was so funny. <gasps> oh my god, that range! Like if I'm oh, here. Man, no. You like teleport towards the end of it. <laughs> oh my god, we got Commando like, Pro back. Let's fucking go. If you blink, if you blink <laughs> you're just right in my face. Oh my god, okay, I have to get this. I want to get this and use it on DOS House. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this. That's too good. Oh, hello. Let's try it from up here. <laughs> oh. Wow. Let's charge at the same time. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, charge! <laughs> oh, what the? What? <laughs> I literally got behind you somehow. <laughs> I recently did grind out unlocking a Kimbo for the double barrel shotgun, which I'll do a separate video on that as well. But yeah, let's level up the SCG, try to get that bayonet. Also, I don't usually play Vanguard on PC with an Xbox controller, so this just feels horrible. Maybe it isn't so horrible. It's so interesting, man. Like, now that the quad feed grind is done, I'm kind of just, like, chilling. Still kind of going for clips. Like, maybe I'll go for kill chains and shit like that. It's just so funny because going for all of those quad feeds, I feel like it just, like, it requires so much focus, and now my brain is just turned to mush. Like, I'm still playing. I'm still trying and shit, but at the same time, not really. Especially while using the SCG. I mean, this gun is so easy to use. I feel like I'm just going on autopilot. Oh my lord. I don't even have like extended mags or like fire rounds or anything. Oh, we're gonna get some reactions. Vanguard game chat has been next level. I'll probably bring back like doing rage reactions and stuff. This game has actually just been amazing, man. It's amazing for quad feeds. There's tons of stuff to grind for. Tons of people talking in game chat and raging. It just, it makes the game feel so alive. It's so good. Patrol. Dig we're on patrol. We're on patrol. 
On patrol! Oh! Hello! God, Xbox aim. I don't know why I'm still using it. I could easily just unplug it and put the PlayStation controller back in. Whoa! Okay, there's one guy in here. Everyone else left the game. Nice. One of my favorite things about playing DOS House is actually just hearing people complain about people using shotguns on this map. People need to understand that there have to be maps where you can use different kinds of guns and shit. So the people that despise shotguns on this map, I know you want to use nothing but the MP40 and STG no matter what. And obviously the reason they're getting salty is because the shotguns absolutely destroy on this map. Just so weird to me that people can be opposed to using shotguns on a small map. Like, what do you expect people to do? Not use a shotgun on, like, one of the smallest maps in the game? It just makes sense. It's the natural thing to do. It's only human natural. I mean, I am using the SCG right now, but again, I'm trying to unlock the bayonet. This isn't like my go-to gun. I actually really don't like the SCG that much. I'm sorry, doggy. I hate doing this, but where are you? Gotta kill the pixels. Die! <laughs> I love dogs, but when it's Call of Duty, it's a different story. Shooting a dog point blank with a rocket launcher, nothing's off the table. It must be done. It could've been better. I didn't get 100 kills, so I'm sad. When you're trying to figure out who ripped ass. <laughs> Prestige 2 level 60. What a nerd. The turtles, man. They're back. I don't really have a problem if you want to go around and use the shields, but the people who just run the shield to have it on their back? Scum! You are a bag of scum, Chad. Of course the guy's name is Chad. Oh, I'm Chad. I like to put a shield on my back. I refuse to die because I'm the best. That's why I was named Chad at birth. I'm watching you forever, bro. Fukia? I just realized you could probably do this camo glitch to get Dark Aether too, right? Oh yeah, you can definitely do it. Let's try it out. Oh, and there you go. Dark Aether unlocked. I'm actually really curious to see this one in game. I have not actually checked it out at all. And there it is. Dark Aether. I mean, I even said too, I was like, the zombies mastery camos really don't look anything special at all. And now that I have it unlocked, I, I still think that's the case. I just kind of feel like when it comes to mastery camos, if it looks worse than the skin you can probably buy in the store, then it's not worth it. I understand they want to try to like mix it up and have a different design so that way it's not the exact same thing every year. Because I wouldn't want that either. Like, I don't want the mastery camos to always be the same. But straight up, Dark Aether needs an upgrade, man. Wait, I got the flame knot? Oh my god, dead drop is the best thing ever. Let's go. All of you can get out of here. Don't worry, teammates. I got this. The game's over now. And it's already over. Flame Knot is so much better in hardcore. I know this is kind of random, but I want to give you guys an amazing piece of advice for this game. You guys already know how I feel about camping in Call of Duty. It just sucks the fun out of everything, and there's a lot of people who are going to be camping in this game. And one thing I absolutely love about Vanguard is the fact that we have a launcher that can deal with those campers that has no sprint out delay. And it's see Panzer Faust. This has become my favorite secondary because I'll just show you. That's why. <laughs> The Panzerfaust is very different than most launchers in Call of Duty. Like, normally you have to aim in before you can actually shoot. But you can actually just hip fire this thing. Like, you can jump around a corner and blow someone up like that. It is kind of cheese and it can be a little annoying, but it's actually great for dealing with campers. It's an amazing anti-camper weapon because they already have their sights up. They're ready to gun you down immediately. So the only way to counter that is to use something where there's no delay at all. Like, you could just pull it out, shoot it, and kill them. Now, you can make the argument that you could just use a shotgun, which it could work. But if they're at range, you can't really do anything. So yeah, just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys in case you're struggling with dealing with campers. Campers. Now they're bloodthirsty for the camos. For actually unlocking the camos, not just equipping them immediately. One level away from the fire rounds. Gotta get to this horde point. Come on. Triple kill. Oh my lord. Come on, team. Come on. Let's take the hard point. I don't want to lose. S mine. Get him. Why did the S mine not go off? Oh, we got the fire rounds unlocked. Time to ruin the lobby. Yeah, the fire rounds are cheese. They're, look at that. It's ridiculous. Almost had a quad. Oh, putting on armor. Cute. We're actually winning. We're taking this back. Let's go. Oh, my lord. I can't believe we're going to win. We were, like, so far behind. Let's go. Almost dropped 100 eliminations. I don't think it would have been 100 kills. But that was a good-ass game. Your boy got play with a dark aether. Oh, boy. Let's see if anyone notices. Oh, well, the play broke. <laughs> Honestly, the Dark Aether camo is so bad, I don't even think anyone would care if you use it. But Atomic Camo, that might be a different story. Oh, I've got 14 levels to go, man. If I'm not mistaken, I think before last night, I only had the SCG at, like, level 3 or 4. So, yeah, having it at 44 is not too bad. I'm gonna try the Itra Burst. Good luck with that terrible decision. Okay, using the Goliath on this map, that's genius. Easy road kills. I'm ready. Is there our... What? They gotta fix these packet bursts, dude. Spilling that Taco Bell hot sauce all over the servers. They got dogs, flamethrower, everything. What the f 
Well, he's dead already. One thing I don't understand about the dog animations in this game is that they don't actually like bite you. They just kind of jump and like fling their head around, but they don't actually like take a bite. They don't chomp on you. They just kind of like touch you. Oh wait, no, I didn't get him. What? Oh, on go, keep going. Excellent. Oh my lord, what? Get the flame jug. Big streak. Big streak. Big feed. Oh good lord, they're all here. Kill chain, let's go. Are they just spawning right here? They're spawning right here. They're infinitely spawning into this. Wow. Well, I mean, I like it. I'm okay with that. That was probably my biggest kill chain so far. <laughs> there we go. Another... No, I just got another flame jug. No. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unlock Atomic Camo and Dark Aether in Vanguard. Hopefully this glitch gets patched soon as this is not a substitute for actually going for the camos. And yeah, I'm just going to keep grinding out the SCG, go for the bayonet because that thing's going to be fun as shit to use. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did it and you want to see some more COD Vanguard stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. We are taking the lead! Above me,